who do you think the responsibility lies with? Is it the GAA or is it RT? It's the GAA, basically. Um, they came up with this system last year of having the, the All-Ireland, the championship, in other words, finishing by the middle of the summer. And we have the All-Ireland Hurling final, obviously, next Sunday. And we're, we're still not at the end of July. Um, and this was their concept to create space in the calendar for club competitions, which is very important. I mean, there's no point in saying otherwise. But, but what's happened is they've condensed the championship so tightly that fixtures are, are running up against each other. Mm. And as well as that, counties during the, the campaign just gone by, counties have found themselves going out weekend after weekend without that kind of break that you, you need for amateur players, Absolutely, you know, yeah. to, to just kind of get a, a recovery period and so forth. Um, so I think, and I, I honestly believe the GEA kind of realised this themselves, that they're going to have to just sit down and look at all this again mm. in terms of are they doing the right thing? Is this congestion, and this has created the, the scenario where we've seen uh, a certain amount of controversy this summer in terms of games going on GEA go behind a paywall and all this kind of thing. But when you have so many fixtures on the same weekend, they're not all going to be on television mm. because they can't be. Yeah. You know, um, and also the fact that Sky are not in the mix anymore, Virgin Media aren't in the mix and that kind of thing. It's, it's, it's created a scenario where some of these games have gone behind a paywall I can see why that's happened, but that doesn't mean that it hasn't irritated a lot of people. Yeah. 